Hi, I'm Bill, and you're watching the Astro Vagabond channel. So in this video, I want to thank everyone who took a moment to respond uh, via the comments to a video I released, I think, about a week ago, where I was asking the question, is the ASI 533 MC Pro right for my Xenostar Z61? And um, your input was very helpful, uh, gave me some good ideas. Uh, you mentioned several uh, cameras I might want to uh, consider. You shared uh, your experiences with the 533 MC Pro. And so again, uh, that was all very helpful. So I thought I owed uh, everyone an update on uh, what I've decided. Uh, you know, I'm old. I don't have a lot of time for analysis paralysis. And uh, just in general, I've been known to make some quick decisions. Some of them work out, a few don't. Uh, but that's just uh, kind of the way uh, it is with me. So in here, um, I have the, uh, my ASI uh, 533MC Pro. And I made a decision to uh, try and get this in the hands of uh, another imager uh, where it, it may be a better fit uh, than it is for me with my Xenostar uh, Z61. Um, I want to make very clear the images that you can get from this camera are, uh, are really good. Uh, there's no amp glow. You don't need darks. Uh, but I still take darks because, you know, that's what I've done in the past. Um, but I, I've just decided to go into a different direction. And um, um, what I'm thinking of doing, um, I'm kind of a toss-up between the ASI 183MM uh, Pro and another ASI 294MM uh, Pro. Uh, Clearly, I've decided to go back to a monochrome camera and filters. Um, what you see here on my Edge HD8 is the original cooled camera that I purchased. It's an ASI 294MM Pro. And yes, even with all its amp glow, um, I, I really liked uh, the quality of the images. This, uh, camera produced when paired with my Z61. I think it was about a, a 2.4 uh, pixel size in uh, bin one mode. And, um, you know, imaging with the one-shot color camera, there's just something that doesn't sit well uh, with me, uh, putting a uh, dual band um, filter, the, in my case, the Optolong uh, L-Extreme dual band filter uh, in front of a color filter array. There's just something that doesn't uh, sit with, right with me. And um, so, uh, you know, I, I want to go back to where I began, and I began with a monochrome camera and filters because where I currently sit right now is under Bortle 78 Skies. And at the time, uh, you know, I saw myself imaging most of the time in my backyard. Again, I didn't know what I didn't know, and I didn't realize how constrained my backyard was and all those. But I decided to go with the uh, monochrome and filters, in particular the narrowband filters, so I could do some uh, imaging uh, and expect a reasonable quality image uh, while imaging under Bortle 78 skies. Uh, these days, if you follow the channel, you know I tend to travel to one or two dark sites uh, or a third dark site recently in Borrego Springs, uh, Blue Canyon Airport up in the uh, um, Sierras, and also uh, the first one I traveled to, which was the Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station down in Landers, California. So I'm kind of going back to where I began, and where I began was with the 294mm and 8 position uh, filter wheel and a set of LRGB and narrowband filters. 
Uh, I think that's the best decision for me. So again, I'm left with, is it the ASI 183 MM or is it another ASI 294 MM uh, Pro? And my thinking is it's going to be another ASI 294 MM Pro. What I like about that camera is the ability to switch between pixel sizes and bin 1 uh, versus I think bin 2 is uh, 4.63 uh, microns pixel size. And you know I think uh, shooting uh, at uh, 1422 on my Edge HD8, um, it's, a, it's a reasonable pixel scale uh, within the limitations of my EQ6R mount. Uh, I think, you know, it's, it's going to work well for me. I'm chasing some elongated stars right now. I've only had the, H, uh, the Edge uh, HD for a month or two and really only had it up and running uh, as recently as last week down in Borrego Springs. So, so um, yeah, that's where I'm going to go. I really want to thank everyone that took time to share their thoughts and their feedback. And if you have uh, some thoughts and feedback on me purchasing another 294mm uh, Pro versus the 183mm uh, Pro, uh, please uh, share them in the comments. They're always appreciated. I do take um, consideration of all of them, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, my decision is uh, I'm going to try and get this camera in the hands uh, of another imager where the pixels size and everything might be a better fit uh, with their focal length uh, and where um, they really don't want to go into uh, a monochrome camera and uh, filters. So that's, uh, that's the decision and uh, it's going to take me a month or two to implement my new roadmap. Um, I have to sell a couple of things first to create some cash uh, so I can uh, get another uh, camera. I want to I wanna hang on to this until I have the new camera and then I'll put this one up for sale is, is my thought. And in addition to getting a new camera, I need to get another uh, filter wheel. And I have some original ZWO um, narrowband filters uh, available to me that I first purchased when I uh, put this configuration together for my uh, Xenostar Z61 and, and uh, subsequently I upgraded the narrowband filters so I at least have those available and I'll, I'll get a set of LRGB uh, so I kind of costed all that out and I'm gonna have to sell a few things so it'll take a, a few months to, uh, to get, the, uh, get the money to, uh, to make the purchase and then I'll, I'll put this up for sale. Uh, just real quickly, I just released a um, video about uh, the, my experience uh, last night with the ASI Air Plus. Uh, as you see here, it's sitting on my Edge HD uh, 8, and uh, I share a story in that video, and, uh, you know, I, I, um, uh, I just ordered a a second uh, ASI Air Plus, but if you want the details, it'll kind of be in that video and, and what my thinking was and what my path forward is going to be uh, relative to Nina versus uh, the ASI Air Plus. All right, well, I really appreciate the audience and taking time to share comments and give me feedback. Uh, you've taught me an awful lot as I've been trying to get up my learning curve and um, make the right decisions and I really appreciate that. Uh, I'd like to thank all the subscribers and uh, viewers who just drop in from time to time. So uh, thanks again. Other than that, you know, wherever you may be in the world, I, I hope you have clear skies. Uh, the next clear skies here in San Mateo where I can do some work with my Edge HD will be around the 14th of November. Today is the uh, 4th of November. So, um, you know, hopefully you have better weather conditions uh, sooner. All right. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. 
And, and if you really think I'm doing the wrong thing by uh, moving off of the uh, 533MC Pro, um, you know, share those thoughts as well. But I, I just want to say I'm not doing it because of the image quality. Image quality is, is very good. Um, there's a lot of positive specs on this uh, ASA, ASI 533MC Pro. It's a, it's a great camera. I just made a decision with my Z61. It's uh, not the best fit for me. And I'm going to go back to where I was in the beginning and, uh, and, and go forward uh, from there. All right. Other than that, hope everything is uh, going well in your part of the world. Till next time.